Greetings from Hops and Ham. Tonight we've got Craig, uh, Serial 4 X-Ray Charlie, with his new radio. So, Craig, first of all, tell us what the radio is, and uh, then we'll do the, start with the unboxing. Yep, um, so the radio is a PMR171 from Galtech, and bought it from uh, AliExpress. Yep, and we're not sponsored or anything like that, but uh, if you want to sponsor us, you know where to get hold of me. Right, oh, there's the box, and uh, let's crack it open. You've been waiting all day for this, haven't you? <laughs> oh, most of it, yep. There's nothing like opening new toys. Crack the seal on that puppy. Oops. I was going to suggest maybe we use the finger burner 2000. Yeah, nah. That might be a bit extreme. Like some YouTube channels that open boxes with chainsaws and that. <laughs> Just trying to keep it in frame. I'm just waiting for him to uh, for the night to slit and uh, blood going everywhere. Have you hit him once? Yeah, well, you only got uh, well, could happen up to ten fingers, but <laughs> <laughs> got to give the folks some sort of entertainment. Oh, let's have a look, quick look before we go any further. I'll come round and do the same there. So there's the outer outer for it. Nice box. There you go. I'll give you the English version. I'm, I'm sure you'll be able to read. Oh, I'll well, just get that out of the way. There you go and pause that if you want. So that's the outside, and uh, we'll crack, crack, uh, pull the box out, and we'll see what lies within. I'll get rid of that for you. Yeah, Toss it over the shoulder. Recycling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah where's the <laughs> right here, let's uh, open her, see how it opens for a start. <laughs> right. Ooh, we even got paperwork with it. Yep. Right, here you've got a book of words. Uh, let's uh, open her up, got a quick flick through to see how, how good they good it is, or is it uh, you need bigger glasses. That's right. Yeah, it looks. All we're doing is just a quick zoom through. It looks all right. Yeah. There is a um, PDF. Yeah, for it anyway. That's so. right. And then you can use a zoom function. Yeah. Anyway, that's enough for the book. It's got a book. Right. Right. Begin. Right. Begin with the cords. Pair of cords. Yeah. Right. Oh no, it's a mic. So I've got a free. Oh, you got a dog bone. Yeah. No, uh, they actually emailed me and said that they were throwing it in. Cool. With the jobby. <laughs> Airstrike. <laughs> so there's a little bonus that yeah. came with it. Now, now, hops and ham, it'll be uh, uh, resupply drop. Need more beer. <laughs> <laughs> Not that we're drinking beer at the moment. We're on Canadian clubs tonight. But uh, anyway... Can't drink beer all the time. Next right. box, that uh, looks so, like a power supply. Yep, everything's in nice little boxes. And fortunately yeah. it's the uh, yeah. European style plug, but that's we all right. We have, a, we have a pair of side cutters and a new plug. That's easy enough. Yeah. Seemed it wasn't a kettle style plug. You just throw that in the bin and put another one on, but that's yeah. all right. That's all good. Easy we'll enough. We'll, we'll soon fix that. Yeah. That's a uh, pretty standard plug. What's, what's your voltage in that one? It's, uh, let's have a look. Uh, 16.85 amps. Okay, it's an interesting, interesting voltage. Yeah, I think there's one for the radio and one for the battery. Oh, yeah, yeah. So. Yeah. <coughs> That's probably what's in that other one there or that one. Possibly. Yeah. A little bit. Power cord. Yes, yeah, DC, DC power cord by the looks of things. Uh, maybe a USB cable, is it? Yeah. Yep, so it's yeah, it's USB-C. Oh, nice, finally. Yep. There's finally stuff coming out with USB-C, both ends of it, C to C, is it? Uh, no. Oh, no, it's standard, no. yeah. 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 And uh, your standard, your standard uh, power jacks, you know, very common 12-volt power jacks, that's great. And you got a, oh, that's a linking cable. Yep, I think we'll have to RTF him a little bit to get it. That's right. Set up. Yeah, probably that one there. Um, Chicken Anderson on it. 
Mm. Uh, so then you just plug it into my into the into the, uh, the truck. Yeah. Have you got any? I've got some with me. Um, I think I may have one. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. And this bugger is the battery because it's got a bit of weight to it. Yeah. There's the battery. Oh, yeah, she does. Let's have a look. Oh, look at the right way around so you guys can read it. What have we got there? 5 ampere, 14.2 volts. And yeah, yeah it's pretty heavy. It's, it's a couple of kilos, heavy. isn't it? It's a kilo in a bit, I think. Yeah. Yeah, if you're interested, we'll always weigh that later. That's the battery. Battery. And the last uh, last box will probably be the other power supply for the battery charger. Or oh, the radio. Oh, no, it's a mic. And you've got the uh, clippy thing. It's a nice standard clippy thing. And you've got the uh, the dribble talker. <laughs> and let's have a look, close look at the buttons on that. So you've got oh, QC pass. There's always another button there. You've got A, B, C, D. So you can probably have presets there. You've got your normal pad. You've got another couple of. Um, Presets there, and on the side you've got a uh, lock and lamp, so you can turn the light on and off, and uh, yeah, it's not too bad. It's got a button, uh, RG45, yep. No, no, no RG11. RG11. Yeah, I think it's 11, yeah, that's the 11 one. Yeah, RG11, not RG45. But that's all right, we've got plenty of them. We've got, we've got a whole jar of them if we ever need to extend it. Now, the main, the main uh, part... The main event. So we'll uh, just do the unboxing on this video and I'll do another video on where I actually got it fired up because we still got a wee bit of work in getting the fired up part. Right, so first of all it's upside down. This there we go. Is the full module. <laughs> we're called uh, we're called Amanders here for a reason. Right, sorry Craig. This is the full module kit, so it has compass, GPS and DMR modules in it as well. So buttons we have there, that's one side, uh, the mic uh, slot, you have all your buttons, and I believe the, it's a touch screen as well, isn't it? Uh, not sure. We'll find out. It. We'll, <laughs> we'll answer that question. So you've got your antenna ports there, that's uh, uh, 0 0.1 to 74, so that's your HF, yep. and that's your GPS, and that'll be your, your uh, 2 meter 70 centimeter port. Yep. And uh, we'll swing it around to the back. And uh, right, ports we have on the back here, we have the battery connector, we have a 12-volt uh, DC, uh, we have USB, I'm not sure what that one's, uh, there's well, two. I think that's for um, upgrades and firmware. Oh, your firmware, and that's your yeah. main, main USB, which will have your cat control send and all that. Yes. Uh, that's uh, whatever yeah, these, no, are. these are. Funny. EOS. They're probably yeah. uh, triggering amplifiers and that, I would imagine. Then you have your key and your ACC. Plugs into one of those. Yeah, it probably will do. But yeah, that's that's the radio itself, and uh, it's, it comes with the carry handles. Heavy. Yeah, it's got a reasonable weight to it. Um, there's a bit more uh, warnings. Yeah, we don't look at the warnings, you know. <laughs> Here's all the information on it. But yeah, that's so far so good. And it's got uh, handle protectors on it, so great for working portable. And, uh, yeah, so I think the next step is we're going to uh, set it up. So we've got uh, uh, the DX Commander Classic here, so it's all ready to go. Um, so we've got to set that up, and we'll get it on the air and do some on-air tests. Right, oh, Craig? I'll see you soon. Yep, and from me, uh, ZL4SY73s, and uh, cheers. 73s.